Welcome to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the show that brings you man-on-the-street interviews, celebrity guests, groundbreaking research, and heartwarming stories about the reasons we smile. Our show is also known as everything you've always wanted to know about dentistry, but we're too numb to ask. Hello, I'm General Dentist Dr. Kavitko, and thank you for joining me today. The following views and opinions do not necessarily reflect those of this station, its staff, management, or parent company. To hear a replay of this show or one of the great shows that previously aired, log on to TheReasonsWeSmile.com or iTunes, keyword Dr. Kavitko or The Reasons We Smile. Listeners should not use Dr. Kavitko's comments and advice in place of an actual dental exam. Brighten your life with a smile that shows the professional touch of Dr. Kavitko. Time now for The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Call 459-9769 to discuss your dental issues. Now, here's your host, Dr. Kavitko. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Reasons We Smile. I'm Dr. Kavitko. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Today's show is episode 665, and we're going to bring you information about Pink Ribbon Girls. It's a charity that helps people who actually have cancer, and uh, we'll bring them on in just a little bit. Before we get started, let me remind you, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, it's at Dr. Kavitko, and if you please go to my office Facebook page and like us, that would be awesome. It's Dr. Kavitko and Associates. Also, all past episodes complete with video are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com. And in about 10 minutes, you're going to have a chance to win free flowers from DeSantis Florist, okay? They're going to be delivered to your place of business this Tuesday afternoon. Don't call yet, but the number to call when it is time is 614-459-9769. That's 614-459-9769. Okay, and as I mentioned, today we are visiting with folks from Pink Ribbon Girls, also known as PRG, and this is what we're lucky to have with us today on the phone, three people. One is Heather Salazar, she's the CEO. Another is Ann Pratt, she is considered a client. And another is Mindy Paul, she's also a client. Mindy happens to be my daughter, and being married, she no longer is Mindy Kavitko. All right, so Heather, can we start with you? Can you tell me a little bit about Pink Ribbon Girls? When did it start? Why did it start? How did you get involved? Um, Great. So we started serving free direct services in 2012. Basically, we, my husband and I adopted our youngest child. Her mother was diagnosed with stage 4 breast cancer and raised in the foster care system. She had 17 different foster care homes growing up, and no one to take care of her baby when she was sick with cancer. So we adopted her and took care of her mom, and unfortunately, she passed away one year after she turned 24, or one week after she turned 24, I'm sorry. And a year after that, I was diagnosed with the same kind of breast cancer as her mom. So I just so firsthandedly, we could see the need for these services for women, you know, fighting this toughest battle. So let me, let's explain the services, because I'll tell you, I've had other cancer charities on this show before. And the one thing that I found missing was that none of them seem to take care or help people who actually have cancer. All of the money seems to go for research to prevent cancer. Correct. So what happens is, you know, um, someone explained it to me, like if, if your house is caught on fire and you don't have a fire extinguisher, but someone wants to give you a fire extinguisher afterwards, that doesn't really help. And so when you're diagnosed, you care about research, but you really need help right now. And so it was really important to us that we came around these families and offered practical services. So we give three meals a week for the entire family. They're wow. healthy and organic food. We give um, up to 20 rides to treatment if you're early stage and as many rides as you need if you have metastatic disease and house cleaning and peer support. Those are four services. Wow, that's awesome. It really is because, like I said, I've had others on and uh, they even requested funds for those type things. And they said even the bigger agencies said, no, we, we can't do that. All of the money has to go to research. So this is really, really neat because the one woman I'm thinking of, she's a, she's single. She has no one in her life right. and yet she couldn't she couldn't pay her electric bill because she couldn't work. Right. And, now, you don't help with that, but you help with other things. So we are hoping that the meals and the rides to treatment help them save money to help with the electric bills and things like this. We try to make the biggest bang we can, and that seems to be helping the entire family with the critical services. So that's kind of how we we work through that. We work with other agencies if, if we can to pay with electric bills or whatever, but as you just stated, it's hard to find them, honestly. Yeah, yeah, it really is. So 
the connection that you have then is adopting this little girl? Yeah. Uh, so, yes, she's 18 now. She was 10 months old when we adopted her. Oh, my goodness. And, yeah. So, and, and then she was three when I was diagnosed. So, it was a scary time, and cancer is a very scary thing. And so, you know, I hated the pink ribbon, and I hated everything about it when I was first diagnosed. I was angry. Like, how could this little girl lose her mom? And now I have, you know, four kids that could worry about losing their mom. And it was really hard to go through it. But in the end, I wanted to make a difference and try to be able to help people get through the process and get through the journey. And the greatest thing about it, I'm probably jumping ahead, but the greatest thing about it is once you've received our services, you become a part of the PRG family. And the, the survivors and the ambassadors are amazing. And they always are paying it forward and doing great things. Awesome. That's really cool. And and so we have a couple of them with us. I apologize for the audio, folks. You know, in the COVID-19 era that the audio has suffered. <laughs> we don't have the... Yeah, the, for sure. <laughs> there was a time when I wouldn't be allowed to put this audio on the air, but uh, as we watch uh, Zoom meetings on TV and stuff, it's just one of those things. So anyway, so Anne, Anne, can you tell me a little bit about how you got involved with the uh, Pink Ribbon Girls? So after two years of being in denial, I was diagnosed with stage for her two positive breast cancer. It was in my breast, my lymph node, and my bone. The current studies have shown that whether you do surgery or ongoing chemo, the life expectancy remains the same. Wow. That is encouraging. To me, being in my early 60s, I will consider myself having lived a good life. You know, whether I last two years or go 10 or more, I've had a great life. So I told my family as this evolved that only good things would happen regardless of the outcome. And that has been so true. I was approached by Pink Ribbon Gals. And I said, but I I don't ask for social services. I've never had to ask for help. Mm -hmm. And they said, but you are not asking for help. We're coming to you to see if we can be of assistance. How did they hear about you? It must have been through Ohio Health, which has been a terrific resource for me, which is all my doctors are out of there. So... The two services that we have utilized are the food and the housekeeping. The food has been good. It has been an add-on to meal prep for us. It's been great for lunches Mm -hmm. or great for nights when I wasn't up to cooking. Our favorite service has been the house cleaning where they came in every two weeks and cleaned our house. And it was like spring cleaning every two weeks. It was so nice for all of my family to not have to worry about that. Yeah, yeah, that seems like the last thing you want to do is deal with cleaning your house when you're dealing with this disease, right? Correct. So you have a very young-sounding voice. I would not have thought that you were in your 60s. Thank you. (laughs) All right. So now, Mindy, how did you get involved with the Pink Ribbon Girls? Um, You know, uh, just like Anne was saying, I'm not sure. Maybe it was through Ohio Health. Somebody had reached out to me via Facebook and kind of introduced me to the group. So then I accepted the request there. Um, I had also joined another support group through Facebook. So but I got especially involved in kind of the peer support aspect, especially just being freshly diagnosed this year and end of May. They were a great group of women just kind of posting about their journeys and and information and all kinds of stuff, and especially really big into being active during breast cancer treatment and, and, and continuing that on. So I got really involved in kind of the the PRG Get Moving Challenge and just helping keep me motivated to be active while I'm undergoing treatment. So it's been a great, yeah, motivator for me. So Heather, uh, we do Dr. Kavitko's question of the day each week, and I try to make it simple, and I try to make it part of the uh, the topic. 
So just to tell me if I remember this right. The four services that Pink Ribbon Girls offers are trips to chemo, food three times a week, house cleaning, and then support through peers? Yes, correct. Peer oh. support and education. Okay, peer support and education. So if you're listening, that's going to be the question of the day, so you'll need to remember those four for the answer. Okay, guys, we do need to go and do Dr. Kavitko's question of the day, but you can hang with me, correct? Yes. I think I need one more yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, there's the third. Got it. Okay, so hang on for me. Okay, folks, we are going to do Dr. Kavitko's question of the day here soon. Remember, the phone number is 614-459-9769. Before we do the contest, we'd like you to listen to this. This station will not be held liable for any kind of smile during the Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Participation in the contest allows Dr. Kavitko to record and bring broadcast your name and call. One winner per household. Prices are non transfer cannot be substituted, and are subject to taxes and fees. This station cannot be responsible for the inability to enter the contest to equipment malfunction or telephone difficulties. All decisions of Dr. Kavitko concerning this content or eligibility are final. And now it's time for Dr. Kovitko's question of the day. And you're going to have to send free flowers from DeSantis. I'll give you the number now 614-459-9769. 614-459-9769. Here's the question. Today, today we're talking with people from Pink Ribbon Girls. We have the CEO, Heather Salazar, and we have two clients, Mindy Paul and Ann Pratt. Pink Ribbon Girls, unlike other cancer churches, provide services to people who actually have cancer. What are those services? Is it A, trips to and from their chemotherapy? B, food, meals, C, house cleaning services? D, peer support and education? Or E, all of the above? All right, the winner's going to receive free flowers from DeSantis Florist. 614-459-9769. That's 614-459-9769. So go ahead and call now. You won't believe it though. I want to hear your mind. And there's nothing else hidden in the world tonight. She said people don't take the time. Hey, people don't take the time. Hey, what's going on? It's Keith Carlos, winner of America's Next Top Model and star of Chocolate City 2. You can look for my smile courtesy of Dr. Kavico on the CBS television network where I play Danny on the hit soap opera, The Bold and the Beautiful. Stay tuned to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavico, the world's most interesting dentist. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavico. Well, we reopened back on May 1st, and I'm happy to say that things are going very well. Our patients are receiving the same great we've always provided, and we are placing a huge emphasis on infection control. In addition to face shield, since 1985, and of course, exam glove, my entire team is wearing surgical gowns and cap, and we are limiting the number of patients we have in the office at a time. I'm also happy to report that there's not been a single incident of COVID-19 associated with our office. Call us at 614-262-9588. Visit worldsmostinterestingdentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. I'm Johanna, and I've been a dental patient at Dr. Kavico and Associates for over 10 years. I would really recommend Dr. Kavico for your family's dental care. They're friendly. They're always there to help me. I feel like family when I walk in the door. It's clean. It's comfortable. Even if I have to bring my kids, they have a great playroom for them. I know when I'm with Dr. Kavico, they are taking that extra time to make sure that I'm going to be the healthiest I can be. They've been great. I love them. Call Dr. Kavico and Associates today. 614-262-9500. Hi, this is Richard Simmons. Dr. Kavitko's here, and he's going to help you with all of your problems. Uh, are your teeth yellow? He can fix that. Are you missing a tooth? He can put a new one in. How is that? <laughs> That's very good. Thank you, Richard. All right, we're back. Well, during 
the break, my producer took the phone calls and uh, talked to the winner. So, would my producer please tell me who is the winner of Dr. Kavitko's question of the day? Who knew that the answer was E, all of the above? Well, I sure can, Doctor. It was Susan from Worthington. She guessed E, it was all of the above. So, she'll be getting those flowers from DeSantis Florist coming up this Tuesday afternoon at her place of business. So, congratulations again, Susan from Worthington. Now, back to Dr. Kavitko. Congratulations to our winner. Thank you so much for listening and calling in. And for those of you that didn't win this week, please call again next week. So if you're just joining us, I'm Dr. Kavitko. This is The Reasons We Smile. It's episode 665. We've been talking with people from Pink Ribbon Girls. It is a charity that helps folks who happen to have cancer right now. Heather Salazar, the CEO, and I guess also folks that have recovered from cancer. Is that correct, Heather? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, we do. We help people in treatment and then the peer support is like years to come as well as some people need our services right away and some people like after they're in radiation or after they have surgery. So it's the year after diagnosis. And then the metastatic disease, we help them through their diagnosis. And we also have with us on the phone Ann Pratt, a client, and Mindy Paul, my daughter, a client. And before I forget, and we'll do it again later in the show, if somebody wants to donate to Pink Ribbon Girls, how do they do that? Um, pinkribbongirls.org and you can click on donate it's at the top of the page okay. and we always like to tell people it's ten dollars includes a meal including shipping and a um, hundred dollars feeds the family of four for a week oh wow oh wow and just so you guys know i made a donation to this charity and so if you're listening and you want to support something that i believe in please do so as well thank you so much oh you're welcome you're welcome so uh, before the break, we started talking to individuals, the folks that are clients, and Mindy was just telling us how you got involved, Mindy. But so for you, the biggest thing was to keep moving. And I know you, you used to run. You still run. You can't run as far as you used to, but you're still out there trying. And it's these, these girls, this Pink Ribbon Girl charity that's kind of pushing you to do that. Yeah, they really, some of the women have reached out to me and they've just been really supportive as I've kind of worked through my journey and dealing with the sickness and still trying, you know, I was training for a half marathon prior to being diagnosed. So, you know, these women have really been um, so supportive and kind of watching me do the best I can to keep running. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I admire anybody that's going to try to run a marathon or a half marathon. I I don't know that I could walk one, but um, (laughs) at least right now I'm healthy. But So I want to commend Heather and the group for what you guys do because these are really important things, the trips, the food, the house cleaning, and the support. I think people can find support groups, but finding somebody that's going to clean your house or provide food three times a week, that's really unusual. Do you know of any other charity, uh, cancer-related charity that does that? Um, We had a consultant come in about three years ago and look at other charities because we're expanding on a national level. He couldn't find any, so I I don't know. He spent about three months looking into other charities throughout the United States, and they couldn't find another charity that offers these kinds of services at a one-stop shop type thing. Right. And it's so, so valuable. And I've been doing this show for about 13 years and not come across one either. So well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I think I think you guys figured it out what other people were missing. So the reason you're passionate about it, Heather, is because of your adopted daughter's mom passing away and you developing the same kind of, uh, of cancer, correct? Right. I think I've always been passionate about helping people. But to see someone that goes through it and has no support, and he rode home, Lexi is my daughter, her mom rode home from her mastectomy on public transportation in a bus. Oh my goodness. That's terrible. How sad. You know, I had five people coming with me to every chemo. It's definitely not everybody has that. And think about now. I mean, now, oh my word, I can't even talk about the difference of COVID. And every single hospital in Columbus and, you know, all of Ohio has reached out to us, thanked us, because everyone stopped their services as soon as we got COVID. They stopped with wigs and rides and other things. And cancer doesn't stop with COVID. So we didn't miss a beat. When everything shut down, we were still taking people to treatment. And it was scary and, and it's hard because we obviously clearly didn't know where all of our funding was coming from during this pandemic. And we still don't. But I think it's important that we continue to show up for them because with a cancer diagnosis, your life's interrupted that way too. You don't know what to expect next with a cancer diagnosis. So I can't imagine chemo, surgery, you know, and COVID. Oh, I know. What a mess with COVID causing hospitals to limit the people who come. They can only have one person with them. And that kind of sucks. And now that I think about it, it sucks a lot. It really does, because this is such a traumatic time in the woman's life, and they really want to have their family members with them, but they can't right now. 
So I'm curious, did you already have your funding in place and you were just hoping that you wouldn't drain your bank account? So typically, in full transparency, we raise the most of our money in September and October, like out of our whole big budget, like 65% comes in those two months, September being ovarian cancer month, and we serve gynecological patients in October being breast cancer month. And all of those events and things kept getting canceled. I mean, like at the beginning, every day, like a fifty to $100,000 event was being canceled. And it was scary. And we just pivoted quick. And we wrote to every single emergency COVID grant that we could get through the state of Ohio. And we wrote, I think, a million and a half or something. And we got like, 200,000. So you know what I'm saying? You don't get what everything you write for, but it just, we just, every day, my philosophy was like, we were going to look for one glimmer of hope and just keep going because you don't know what's going to happen with cancer diagnosis. So they keep going. So we have no reason not to keep going. And so we did that. And then sometimes we did funding through emergency ask and we got some of that. We got the PPP loan. And now we don't really know what's going to happen in September and October as far as, you know, we're not going to obviously make the same amount of money and doing made last time, but we have had businesses in our pink trucks and things that have showed up for us and given us more money than they had in years past because their businesses maybe weren't affected by the pandemic. So you called it pivoting really quick. I call it the harder you work, the luckier you get, right? So you just really buckled down, worked hard, and asked for as much money as possible. And even though you didn't get the million or so that you were trying for, you still wound up with a couple hundred thousand, and that's really admirable. That that really is. So, folks, and that's a lesson for life. The harder I work, I figure the luckier I get. At least that's what I've noticed. And of course, another way of saying that is if you work hard, you will succeed. And I'm so happy you did because that allows you to help people like my daughter and like Anne. But I'm going to talk more about the pink trucks. In fact, we haven't talked about them at all until you just brought them up. We do have to go to another break. When we come back, we're going to learn about the pink trucks. And I want to find out from uh, Mindy and Anne kind of uh, what this really means to you and, and being a survivor, what that means. So you're listening to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, and we'll be right back. You can take me as I am, not just a little bit. I don't know who to be I'm a paper cup, baby, of the sea I know you see it too Cause you're too much for me This is Clark Kellogg Stay tuned for more of Dr. Kavitko Estás escuchando con Dr. Kavitko Aquí en su sesión favorita Hi, I'm Dominique Reigert Like what you hear? Why not use the show to promote your product or service By becoming a sponsor Call 614-262-9588 to learn how That's 614-262-9588. Call now. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko, general dentist and host of The Reasons We Smile Radio and Roadshow. I've been honored to help several famous people get a perfect smile, like Keith Carlos and Dominique Rygaard from America's Next Top Model and Ted the Golden Voice Williams from right here in Columbus. Isn't it time you had a celebrity smile? It costs less than you might think, and most of the time, it can be done in one visit. A new smile can make a world of difference. Visit worldsmostinterestingdentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. Hi, my name's Athena. My family and I have been patients of Dr. Kavitko and Associates for over 10 years. We found a Dr. Kavitko for numerous reasons, especially cleanings, crowns, and root canals. Since going to Dr. Kavitko, I get compliments every day on how beautiful my smile is, and people always ask me how I get my teeth so white. I used to be afraid of the dentist, but Dr. Kavitko and his staff make you feel very comfortable and relaxed, and I'm not afraid anymore. I would recommend Dr. Kavitko for all your family's dental needs. Call Dr. Kavitko and Associates today, 614-262-9588. I'm Grandpa, and I go to Dr. Kavitko, and I still have all my teeth. Real ones. Where's my glasses? Okay, we're back. Thank you for joining me. I'm Dr. Kavitko. With me on the phone is Heather Salazar, the CEO of Pink Ribbon Girls, Ann Pratt, a client and survivor, and Mindy Paul, also a client and survivor, and uh, Mindy is my daughter. So we talked about before the break, pink trucks. Tell me about the pink trucks. Where did they come from? How many do you have? Okay, so the pink trucks, we have companies across the state of Ohio and in St. Louis and in the Bay Area now that have their businesses will paint their trucks pink. They pay to paint it pink and they put our logo on it. So we have concrete trucks and drywall trucks and rental trucks and all these different vans and fire trucks and things like that. And so each truck we is $10,000 to put our logo on it. And that's 
provides 1,125 meals and the drivers know about it and the companies know about it and they love to make a difference in exactly what we're doing. Cool. Um, we have 46 of them. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's really neat. You guys are you guys are awesome. You've just done a, such a great job. Thank you. Yeah, I've been involved in some other charities that just seem to like tread water and never really get there. And you guys have just really, you're on fire. So let's find out from, uh, so Mindy, tell me, what does Pink Ribbon Girls mean to you besides the helping you get moving? Is it just great to have another group, a group of women out there that you can talk to? Is it knowing that they're going to be there after surgery, that sort of thing? Yeah, I think just um, being diagnosed with cancer so young and then not having it in my family. I, you know, I just, I thought I was knowledgeable. And, and I wasn't in these women have helped me a lot and even as I'm going through it now and the support, you know, I didn't use any of the resources necessarily yet. I had luckily a, a great support system of family and friends also helping me at that time. But just having those people there to know, that I know I can go to and talk to about these things you deal with going through all these different types of treatments. And I just think it's going to be used for me for a really long time. Okay, cool. And then Anne, tell me from your point of view. I'm going to backtrack a little. I think when you are diagnosed with cancer, it owns you. People define you not as your first name. They define you as a cancer patient. And one thing I never wanted to be identified with was being a cancer patient. And I think it is always, even when you're in remission, it's always a part of your life. There's this green monster that if you overexert yourself, you go, oh, oh no. I have a pain. It's lasted a week. Is it a new form of cancer? Yeah. This network that. of ladies, they're there for you. It means just you're there. You're reading their personal stories. When I was diagnosed, and I went to the infusion center. Everyone, they had ribbons for all the different types of cancer. And everyone was able to put a name and put it on a wall. In my journey, I have chosen a polka dotted ribbon. And as I have shared that ribbon, people have identified with all different aspects of their lives. We're all fighting battles every day, regardless of the cancer. The cancer is far and away one of the scariest words that you hear in your life. And sometimes you wake up and you go, okay, I know I'm okay, but how long am I going to be okay? Yeah. How long is it all going to be good? So Pink Ribbon has been there for me. They guided me on this journey. The ladies are awesome. You have such great heart-to-heart -heart talks with them, and it's all good, and you know you're going to be okay. That is so cool. That is so cool. What a nice story. And Heather, you should be proud. Um, thank you so much. I mean, just hearing those stories, they are what keep us going. I mean, this right now is my glimmer of hope. Like, they are, like, knowing, because I was there. I mean, I was there. I told my husband every day, do you think I'm going to die? I don't think I'm going to get to see my kids grow up. How are we going to get through this? And now just the fact that we get to do that for other people, that's the best gift you could ever be given. Right, right. And so tell us again how people can donate. So people can donate at pinkribbongirls.org and click on the donate. And another way people donate, lots of people, is they can donate through Facebook, too. Some people do Facebook and fundraisers and things like that. But, yep, we'll take donations any way we can get them. Okay, very good. Well, we're out of time. I'm so sorry, but I'm so happy that you guys were willing to do this. And I'm happy that we can make people in Central Ohio aware of Pink Ribbon Girls. It's doing a wonderful job and a, and a great service for people, something that's direly in need and that you've identified that niche and uh, are, are filling it. So good luck in your journey, everyone. Thank you so much for being on the show, and maybe we'll do this again sometime. Thanks for having us. You're very Thank welcome. You. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Well, looks like that is all the time we have today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. Before we go, let me remind you, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, it's at Dr. Kuvitko. And if you'd please go to my office Facebook page and like us, that would be awesome. Remember that all past episodes, complete with video, are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com. Be sure to tune in next week and every week right here on your favorite station. Goodbye.
is Carly Red from Love & Hip Hop Atlanta, the hit show on VH1, urging you to tune in next week with my dentist, Dr. Kavitko. If you're interested in learning more about this and other dental health topics, go to TheReasonsWeSmile.com to access full episodes of Dr. Kavitko's show. If you'd like Dr. Kavitko, the world's most interesting dentist, to speak at your next event, please call 614-262-9588. That's 614 614- 262-9588 or send an email to speak